live now. Hey, we are live. How exciting. Oh, so yes. everyone out there, all friends and family, thank you for joining us. We are now live with an interview with two of my gorgeous Hi. friends. Hey. Hey. So hello, we have uh, Helen Boniface and we have her sister, Michelle Cole. Hey. From Karma Kid. So I'll just read a little bit of an intro um, about these lovely ladies and then we will get started asking questions. And I do encourage um, all of the viewers that are watching, if you wouldn't mind sharing, <clears throat> excuse me, or doing a um, watch party with any of your friends that you think might um, be interested in this topic. So... We, sisters Helen and Michelle, they share a big vision of helping our little people. Together they share a wealth of 23 years, wow, of experience. Michelle comes with a wealth of 15 years of teaching in primary school as well as a deputy principal and leadership roles. Wow. Helen is an experienced yoga teacher, trainer and, chul, um, and children's yoga mindfulness teacher. Um, together they aspire to create positive change in schools and early education settings to improve health and well-being in the communities. Now, um, the reason, main reason why I invited these, uh, these two beautiful people on to share their story about and how their business and why they started their business, Karma Kids, um, and I've noticed of late especially with the COVID-9, there's been so many shifts. There's been so much unrest and unsettlement in homes, um, children not being allowed to go to school, being isolated and now being reintroduced back into their, um, into their school. That comes with a lot of challenges in the household and also with our little ones. So I might just start first with um, Helen. How did you... Tell us a little bit about yourself and how did you get involved? Like how did this evolve, Carmen? Cool. Okay, thank you, Helga. Yeah, so um, I guess my own journey with yoga, first of all, started um, when I was experiencing anxiety. So that really set the path for me in terms of what yoga is for me and why I practice yoga. So, yes, it's so, it's so great for flexibility and strength and all the mental benefits we get, um, you know, in terms of calmness. And But really I feel like it really changed my life in terms of being able to cope with the anxiety I had at the time um, and to be able to find that place of stillness with discomfort. Um, so I then went on to become and train and became a yoga teacher. So I went to India, did my first training, continued some trainings over here in Australia. And um, I've been teaching now for about eight years um, and went on to do, you know, teacher trainings here on the coast. Um, so I train about just over 100 teachers now. Um, and yeah. I have my, my girls, my uh, twin girls, Ava and Ella, who just turned three last weekend. Um, when I became a mother, it just became really, really clear to me that my purpose was to, to help the next generation. So I really feel like for myself, the anxiety I had, it was early 20s, but I wish I'd had those tools a little bit earlier. Um, and so it's really like I'm, yeah, very, very passionate. I just feel like it's my sole purpose to really help those younger kids and, you know, all the way up through adolescence and teens um, to get the tools and the skills that we learn at yoga. You know, so many teachers that we meet and, and even just students coming into yoga just say, I wish I'd learned this earlier. Mm -hmm. So it's really about just trying to share the practice at an earlier age so they have these tools and these, you know, that you can build resilience for them as well. Yeah, no, that's fantastic. And I know that that's how we met initially yeah. on the Sunshine Coast at um, our favourite um, space, Zenko Yoga. Yes. And for me, yeah, yoga as well has helped me throughout my whole healing journey. So I'm very grateful for that. So, Michelle, tell us a little yeah. bit about you and um, how, why you came back because I know yeah. that you've just relocated to the yeah. Sunshine Coast. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yeah, and how you fit into all of this as well. Yeah, so I've been a teacher for the last 15 years and um, love, love teaching, love love my job in schools, but I've seen firsthand the um, the increase in stress that kids have in school and the families are having around school and teachers are having too. Um, been on my own wellbeing journey, so I had kidney cancer eight years ago, 
which yeah. which which was a, which was a really good wake up call for me to look at how I was living my life and the and the stress strategies I was using in my life. Um, and it's kind of it kind of has led me down a path of being really passionate about supporting well being in schools and also you know for for families as well. Um, so I, I taught over here in Australia twelve years ago and loved it. So I taught in a couple, a couple of different places. Taught up in Broome on the in WA. Taught down in Manly. Um, really really enjoyed it. Went back to England and um, and kind of I guess got on that real career journey. Became a deputy principal of a large school in England. Um, wow. And through and through that, I became really passionate about developing well being in our school community. So we. We would have yearly um, well-being weeks where we'd have the whole school community involved and we'd have yoga and Pilates and sound healing. Um, you know, we teach the children, you know, lots, lots and lots of healthy strategies. And it was it was a really it was a whole community event and we'd have, you know, parents involved and local businesses involved. And it was always really powerful, although like the event was a big one off, the strategies from it would then you know be rolled out and, you know, and continue to be revisited throughout the year. Because it's because ultimately you can teach children to read and write and do maths. But you could argue that the most important things you can teach children is to be healthy in themselves. Oh, absolutely. I could not agree more. Yeah. I, I can just see the dynamics of both yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, incredible. Yeah, so, so so I had a bit of a bit of a crossroads a couple of years ago. I'm like, okay, well, where are things heading with my life? What do I want? And I made the decision to relocate and come back to Australia and come and move to the beautiful Sunshine Coast. Um, and, it, and in the meantime, through organising the wellbeing weeks with school, uh, like um, the, tw the twins had been born. Helen had got more and more interest in children's yoga, and so I and, and so I convinced her to make um, <laughs> some online videos for me to be able to share with my school community. So, so as part of our wellbeing week, um, she filmed and film did and and did some um some brilliant videos for the children of yoga and she also did some videos of um of mindfulness and like box breathing and, and belly breathing which i was able to use in the whole school assembly so i was doing it with like four four hundred children and it, and it was it was magic it, like it, it literally went way better than i ever could have imagined because it was a bit of an experiment it was kind of you know i said i said Helen, oh, i really think it'd be good to try and do this on a big scale with the kids and we literally had like 400 kids watching helena oh, I got it. <laughs> like, it was incredible and um and the I guess the, the story I gave the children about it was that, you know, I'm you know, I'm moving to Australia and Scamp, who is my little pet toy that used to be lent out to the kids who were feeling anxious and worried at the time. And I said, you know, Scamp's really nervous because he's not sure what you know what you know what to do. Have any of you ever felt nervous um, and had that funny feeling in your tummy? And so, you know, and, and 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 so we explored that. And then and then we did the you know the box breathing on the video. And the feedback from the parents and from the children was incredible. And, and I literally had children saying to me two months later, Oh, Miss Carl, you know, I had that funny feeling I had in my, you know, my time that you were talking about in assembly, and I did my box, and it really helped, you know, and and it was then that I went, you know what, this 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 is super super powerful. So um, with Helen's um, yoga teacher trainer hat on, um, she'd been asked to speak at a, a well-being and early educators conference um last early last year. So we so we presented at that together, and I guess from there, so. So we started off with Karma Kids as connection education, and then it's and then it's evolved over the last year, you know year year or year and a half really now, um, to be the social enterprise that it is now. And yeah, and what's great now is that we're kind of we're, we're using both of our I guess you know, passions and, and and strengths to be able to support um, kids in yoga classes after school, you know, in schools, you know, and going forward in kindies and at home. Um, and COVID has 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 actually been been. Or, you know, it's been a really tough time for so many of us. But the whole online platform has, again, ironically, brought Helen and I back to the place where we first started this, where, where you know, you don't have to be in the same place as other people to help. You know, so we've had families from the UK and schools from the UK sharing and using our our videos and our resources. And the feedback, again, you know, has 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 been brilliant. So it's it's, it's just growing and growing and growing, which which is amazing. And 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 like, like ultimately, Helen and I are both really passionate about supporting as many kids as we can with those strategies, those calming strategies, so that they can have it as an integral part of their life. You know, you know, like I said, like it's it's it's, it's, just, it's just as important as teaching them to read and write. It is those. Oh, it's so important because the medical, so like, yeah, the the medical practitioner. It's just all too easy to um, prescribe 
antidepressants or something like yeah, that yeah. and yeah. band-aid it, whereas this is just, uh, it's so crucial. I, I believe that this tool should be in all schools. It should be part of the curriculum. Yeah, yeah. Are you guys, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you yeah. guys yeah. doing pushing yeah. for that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, look, the great thing is, is that is that mental health and well-being actually is part of the curriculum. So both in England and and Australia, like it, it is it is within the curriculum. But like any curriculum, the you know the curriculum is very tightly packed, and there's things that get dropped. And so, and so the more you can have expertise and help of people supporting with those key concepts of mental well-being, mental health, self-regulation. The better it is for the people in schools because teach like you know I, I put my teacher hat on and teachers are juggling so much in schools mm. you know when when i was in class last year i you know i had a class that had that had a lot of anxiety a lot of needs we were three weeks before nap plan i'd taken on the class um initially as a cover teacher and, and like and ended up having them for the whole year and we put on some of the online videos and some of the online calming videos like the box breathing and the belly breathing, you know, and the star breathing. And we use those to help calm calm them for nap plan. And, and I guess with my teacher hat on, it was it was it was it was so powerful just being able to put on the video and me do it with them because it helped to calm me as well. That's fantastic. So yeah. those videos you're talking about, are they on your website or can people yes. have access to those? Yeah, so they're on our Karma Kids YouTube channel. So so they're completely free to people because you know, because we are so passionate about, about supporting as many people as possible. That yep, they're on our YouTube channel, that they're, they're there and easy, you know, and easy to use. There's a few on the website yeah. as well. Yeah, um, a few on the website. Yeah, well, YouTube's got heaps of videos on there now. Yeah, yeah. We've um we're just about to release this is this is top, top secret, hot hot of the press. We're about <laughs> to release um some karma kids yoga cards, which again fat like which again like fat families and schools can use. That have got all kinds of you know yoga like postures and games um to be able breathe. to use yeah and oh breathe. my gosh so like a set of cards that set of cards yeah yeah wow um, i'd love yeah. to grab a couple of those yeah, you know? yeah. 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 sorry i didn't bring them today but yeah you know, they're beautiful really bright and colorful for the kids and yeah illustrated really nicely as well yeah and um and and yeah, and also some brain break cards, which we're going to be able to share with schools that will have videos to go with them that schools can use to integrate these routines into their classroom really easily. Wow, wow! Yeah. I'm, I'm think... just so passionate about this. I come from a family of um, mental ill, you know, bipolar and challenges mm. that come with that, and two deaths as well. So for me, this is just like. This is so needed and more so in, in our current climate. So oh, tell me, what do you do at home, Helen, with your little ones? Because I know you're, <laughs> you've got twins and you're juggling and they're growing up so fast. I can't believe they're, they're already three. They've just had a birthday. I know. It's crazy. Um, so, look, I think, I think as we say, like, you know, our parent workshops and things that we do, really, I think it has to start with us. Yeah. So because if we're we're not calm and we're trying to tell our kids to be calm, they're not going to be calm. It's like, you know, if you say, calm down, no one's going to calm down, you know. Yeah. So the more, so for, for, for the, the girls at the age they are, it's really about modelling. Um, I think that's the same for, for all kids, really, because um, there's a beautiful there's a beautiful quote, actually, we just shared it last week about, um, you know, children are great imitators, so let's give them something great to imitate. Yeah. So I think it's that case of we need to show it and, and also, I mean, with the girls, I'm just very real about I get stressed out too and I'm not I'm not like a calm, you know, people, <laughs> yoga teachers are just calm all the time and really zen. It's like anyone that knows me properly would know that that's not the case. <laughs> um, but it's actually like, in, you know, embracing those, all those different emotions. Like, okay, mummy's feeling actually a little bit angry right now. Yeah. I'm going to take some deep breaths. And so sort of verbalising it and modelling modeling it for them. Yeah. Um, and then also keeping up like a practice. So I do yoga with them. They've always been around it. They'll grab mm. props and stuff now because they're, I mean, you, you see if you check out our Facebook or Instagram, the girls yeah. feature regularly because they'll yeah. they always be into the yoga props. You know, they use feathers to oh, blow. Yeah, they love and, the feathers. Don't yeah. Them. And, um, yeah. you know, it's, I feel like sometimes if we, we can't push this on our kids because no. if we push it on our kids, it, it will push them away from it. Um, yeah. So, you so know, it would be the example. And, and yeah. As, follow. Yeah. I mean, and as if you're, for the girls being so young, it was definitely around the age, sort of like before up to one, they were they'd feature in all the yoga I did. But, you know, now they, they dip in and out of interest. Mm. And, and, I, and I, I completely, I, like, I think that's great. I encourage that, you know, because as I say, you don't, you don't want to push it. Mm. Um, 
We've got, I've just been doing a family class recently at our home studio and it's beautiful for families to practice together. Yeah. I think that's something really, really powerful because you're learning, not only are you learning skills and strategies together, you are also got a, bo- a bonding experience. Yeah, that connection. The connection. Yeah. You're talking about things that you might not, all families might not talk about mm. around the dinner table, you know, like how are you feeling today? Like if you're at one to five, how are you feeling? And you can really start to, start to name those emotions and those feelings so it, it those children are understanding that and also for the parents they're like you know, yeah work was quite full on today mummy mum's feeling about this or dad's you know dad's mm. feeling a bit stressed out and and actually like empowering them to to know what is real because I think we don't a lot of the time we don't give children enough credit like they are they're such pure vessels of energy they pick up on everything um and they they know what's going on when we're not good yeah. oh so, absolutely it's like they come in with a lift or go <laughs> Yeah, 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 we were talking yeah, about that yesterday yeah, yeah, actually yeah, yeah. yeah but absolutely true so yeah I mean I think doing it together as well is um if they're if they're keen to is something that can be a really really good experience mm. too for everyone yeah so a scenario if uh you know uh parents might have one or two children and one might not be traveling too well and whatever they're not here on the Sunshine Coast how can they have you got a service that can help them like yeah. what, what do you offer remotely say if they were in melbourne or sydney or Absolutely. yeah yeah yeah. so i think especially with covid as you said it has definitely brought a lot of this to the surface more yeah the mm-hmm. and stuff so that it's actually you know it's been great for us in a way because we have developed online offerings so um we offer you know support just for the parents so we can do online professional developments for parents and workshops similar to what we do face to face but online mm-hmm. um, we can also offer something like that family workshop, um, you know, online as well. So via a Zoom and we've been running online classes for the last term. So for term yeah. two, we just completed our online classes for term two. So the kids can jump into classes and um, we'll probably still do some pop ups because we do have communities around the world a little bit, mainly like Canada and UK is very strong. Yeah. Um, but oh, so, wow. like, so what do you do there? You just have it online and people? Yeah. yeah. So, so, a zoom type workshop and yeah. you know we have done those we've done some some complimentary ones in the past and then there's different, different options but um yeah if families wanted to jump into something like i've just spoken about like um you know a really personalized session that's that's easy to organize it's all online yeah um we can do that no worries yeah, yeah. so and how do they reach out to set one of those up do they just con i, I have put the link to your website so is yeah. it just a matter of them contacting you direct via your information yeah wow. yeah thank you for sharing yeah, that and um, yeah so there's basically the tab on there that says private sessions but you could even just email or call us and yeah we're easily easily reached so yeah i, I might have a child or two in in arms but <laughs> one, <laughs> one of us will always pick up the phone and um yeah so you can put those private sessions or yeah. even just discuss if there's anything like that we're talking about you go, oh i'd be really interested in that we can have a, a sort of a chat over the phone to discuss the needs yeah, as well that's Definitely. fantastic fantastic i um obviously with my business my non-for-profit advancing health naturally i'm all about giving back and yes. hence you guys here i just think your your message and your your calling is so needed right now um i would love right. to buy five sets of those cards when they come in uh-huh. as, as gifts to my tribe members yeah. that i feel might be needing it mm. so you have to let me know when they're out so that i can grab some yeah. of those um, yeah awesome. yeah next few days actually, oh that is exciting I got an email from the printer this morning, so very, yeah. very soon. Be on the oh, show. that's awesome. Well, I think we've almost yeah. covered it. Now, is there anything in closing that you want to share with with the viewers? I think I think that it's it's okay to not be okay. Yes. You know, like it, it really is okay to not be okay. And 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 if you're not okay, then like talk to yes. someone. And you know, there's there's. We're like, we are very lucky that there's, there's a lot of different resources out there. So if you've got people close to you, you can talk to, then do. There's also a lot of professional services. There's, you know, there, there's, there's things like yoga and mindfulness, just getting out in nature. You don't, you don't need to struggle in, you know, in silence. Yes. Uh, so that, I guess, is, is some, something that I'm really super passionate about. I, I had someone very close to me commit suicide, mm. um, which, which, which I think, you know, again, really drives my, my, my passion and my, and my belief in, you know, supporting well-being and developing those strategies for everyone you know and especially teaching kids at young um but yeah so so if post covid you're not okay please note that, it, that that's okay and that there, are, there is support out there for you yeah and even reach out to you guys yeah please yeah yeah do. absolutely absolutely 
Mm. And I think, yeah. and I just love to add as well, Helga, just that um, if if it's you know if it's yes, if it's obviously it's you that's not okay, as Michelle's saying, and if it's if it's the child that's not okay, like mm. take any blame away from yourself. Yeah. Because I think as parents, I know it actually gets me emotional saying that because like you know mum and dad guilt it's a real thing and we mm. are all we're all our own worst critic and there's, de- there's definitely there's probably you know hundreds of times in the in a couple of weeks that I could go oh I, I could have done that better with the kids or I wish I hadn't lost my mm. temper there or whatever it is you know like we're all human and there's no such thing as perfect parenting so it's just you know owning the mistakes but also knowing that you can't be responsible for everything that happens to your child you can only do the best you can mm. and that is also doing the best you can for them is often doing the best you can for you as well in terms of self-care and look, making sure you're okay because then we can give them more um does yeah. that Power, powerful message, yes, yeah, 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 absolutely fantastic. Yeah. I just love what you guys are doing. So I'm so grateful that, um, yeah, Thank you took some time out to share it with everyone here. So, awesome. um, yeah. Thank you for having us. Yeah, thank so nice you. Day. I'll, I'll um, be able to get a recording of this to you guys too so I can put it up on YouTube as well if you wanted to share it and put yeah. it on the platform. Just thought of one more thing as well I'd just like to give as an offering is that we have got a free mindfulness journal as well yeah. that you can get from our website. It's 29 mm. pages. It's completely free. Yeah, it's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful, full of loads of awesome activities. We had some really good feedback from it. Yeah. Um, so we actually developed it over the COVID time just for families as a free resource. It's, oh. it's got curriculum links it's as well. It's got curriculum links. So it's links. completely linked to that mental health part of the um, health curriculum. And that's on the website. Will that pop up as a free download? Or? Okay. Yeah. We'll go into, it's actually just like, if, you, if they can remember, it's forward slash then mindfulness journal but if you go into um there's you'll see it on there under the kids classes it's under there Fantastic. Well, i might get the link and pop it yeah 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 and there, there will probably um i encourage anyone that is jumping on this later just to hashtag replay and if you've got any questions whatsoever yeah, yeah absolutely below or or yeah. email info at karmakids.com.au and i'm oh. sure um yeah, Michelle and Helen will be able to sort it out for you. Yeah, yeah keep up the good work. I love it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. Bye. Bye.